Now a month on since the Hamas gunman executed more than 1,400 Israeli men, women and children and kidnapped hundreds more. Now an Irish-born father and Hamas attack survivor is coming to terms with the unexpected news that his daughter Emily, who he thought was dead, may still be alive. The anguish Thomas Hand is about to describe has left him trembling for weeks. It's a journey of death and a hope of resurrection, he says, is impossible to imagine. On the day it was uh, Russian roulette, whether you made it or not. On October 7th, Hamas fighters stormed the kibbutz Be'eri, killing roughly 130 people and ravaging the community of 1,100 residents. That morning, Thomas's eight-year-old daughter Emily was sleeping at a friend's house. Thomas could not reach her as Hamas fighters took over the kibbutz. Days after the attack, the Irish-born father spoke with CNN's Clarissa Ward about the moment he was told his daughter had been killed. Thomas waited two agonizing days before getting the news. They just said, we found Emily. Uh, she's dead. And I went, yes! I went, yes, and smiled, because that is the best news of the possibilities that I knew. Thomas says leaders of the Be'eri Kibbutz community told him Emily's body was seen in the aftermath. But almost a month after the massacre, Thomas was given news that almost made him collapse. He says the Israeli army told him it's highly probable Emily is alive and a Hamas hostage. How were you told the news that Emily might be alive? That was official uh, from the army uh, with all the information that they have, the intelligence that they have. Uh, it's very likely that she's been taken to uh, Gaza. Thomas says he's been told Emily's body is not with the remains of victims and that there was no blood found inside the home where she slept the night before. Thomas also says that cell phones belonging to the family Emily was staying with have been tracked inside Gaza. When you spoke with Clarissa Ward a few weeks ago, you said death would be a blessing in this situation. That's, that's how I felt at the time, yeah. How do you describe where you are now? Extremely worried about her, obviously what conditions she's been held in. She's, you know, more than likely in, in, a, in a tunnel somewhere under, under Gaza. Your imagination is it's horrible. And it's her birthday on the 17th of this month. She'll be nine. She won't even know what day it is. She won't know what day it is. She won't know it's her birthday. There'll be no birthday cake, no party, no friends. The survivors of the Be'eri kibbutz are temporarily living in a hotel. In the lobby, there's a vigil to all the kidnapped hostages. Now Emily's family says the young girl's photo will be placed next to the others.